okay, I wanted to be able to create a timestamp in my Word documents because I'm always taking notes about things. So this is one I made. And what you can do is make it the way that you want it to look. And then you highlight it and go to inserts, quick parts, save to gallery. And I'm going to call this DAT, DATT, because I already have one. So we're going to put it in the normal document and insert content only. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that I turned on the show hide features so you can see all of the hidden codes. So you make sure you get this end mark, this end paragraph mark here, and this paragraph mark right here, so that when you start back writing after you do this, it goes back to the normal style. It's not still purple and all that. So hopefully, yeah, it, it should be the regular style. So let's give this a try. So if I type slash DNTT and hit enter, boom. And then there's my timestamp and I keep writing. Okay, so create to create the timestamp, you go to insert quick parts field. And you choose a time. This is how you do it, time. Yeah. And then you pick the format that you want. So I picked something like, I think I picked this one. Okay, so that was the first part. And then I did a space and a dash and another space. And then I wanted the time. So you do insert, this is in Microsoft Word, insert quick parts field time and this time I just did time time okay um and then I just added my little life ring thing at the end because I like that the first one I did has a it's just d-a-t no I forgot what it was d-a-t is it DT? I forgot already what it is. That's that one, but there's there's supposed to be another one. Insert document blocks. Oh, he got rid of my other one. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, so that's how you would do it. You now you build it first. And then you color it or make it whatever color you want to make it, like whatever. I like this purple-ish here. Um, and then do insert, quick parts, save, no, auto, save selection to quick part gallery. Yeah, and then you give it a name. Um, I believe it has to be at least four characters like the trigger keystroke combination and there you have it there's a way to make a timestamp in microsoft word